गुड मॉर्निंग अगेन फॉर एनदर टॉक विथ यू मोर ऑन काम सूत्र एंड विज्ञान भैरव तंत्र अंडरस्टैंडिंग नॉलेज नोइंग इज द बिगनिंग knowing brings understanding and when understanding comes you start practicing you start living it totally and with that fulfillment comes unless you are fulfilled at all levels of life your journey of transcendence cannot begin so first of all we have to understand that existence has created man and woman as complementary to one another the biological reason also explains that every man is a woman in the beginning and the two aspects masculine and feminine yin and yang shiva and shakti are embedded in each individual at psychological level at physical level at emotional level so when conception takes place a woman is sperm interact with one another in that interaction fertilization fertilization begins in fallopian tube then fetus moves to the womb where it continues to grow so up to the age of 14 gender is not determined gender is not determined at 14 or after that before that every fetus has clitoris and when two hormones are released in the in the fetus then it is determined whether the child whether the clitoris will remain or it will grow into penis Clit- it is clitoris that grows because of those hormones into penis and it becomes a male gender and this happens after the 14th week of pregnancy then soul enters so existence has created man and woman the woman as complementary to one another not contradictory there is no need for any dependence kama sutra is based on the complementarity of male and female if you want to attain fulfillment you must understand both are equal partners both are important sometimes in your life if you look at it sometimes logic dominates sometimes emotions dominate but the best is when the two are in harmony with one another so if you put it here women is embodiment of both logic and emotions so is man this is the but there is no balance it is said women is emotional man is logical woman is concerned with immediate things in her vicinity my husband my family and that's all she is not interested in as such in knowing what's happening in israel and hamas what is happening in russia and ukraine these are not her concern when man is interested in those things she says that whole week you are busy now you have time take care of the children shoes their uniform needs fixing in the man does not have interest what is the reason behind this so that with that the your logic i must have respect your reason i must have respect but 
it is not that your logic is important or my logic is important or your emotions are important or my emotions are important there has to be a balance very beautiful example comes in shiva was explaining the science of life to seven why seven at another time i will explain seven sages they are known as saptarishi explaining to them so he was t- telling them there are 114 techniques of med 112 techniques of meditation and that continuing and this process is still continues when you complete your education in whatever field you are after you graduate you obtain degree does your learning process ends no whether you are in the music field whether you are in medicine whether you are in anything so in that way buddhahood enlightenment is that you have obtained a degree of oneness with cosmos now your real journey begins and your process of teaching preparation continues life long so shiva is still explaining so when he said 112 techniques of meditation his concert parvati came so she was at equally at that level so shiva has respect for parvati's intelligence and parvati has respect for the understanding and in intelligence of shiva does every man and women operate at that level do we have respect for our women or does our women have respect for men no so this has to come so shiva is explaining the intricate techniques of life the science of life the to those sages parvati came and she sat down in the arc in the discussion she said why only 112 there got to be more shiva said no there are no more than that only 112 is so at times the male is dominant he said no only 112 are needed are there so in a way at times it happens in that process the male ego surfaces or female ego but sometimes in that understanding it is to show that both are operating at the same level so parvati said i will go and explore she went to see via finances for many years when she returned she realized that shiva was still continuing to explain the science of life and this time when she came and she realized the 112 was the ultimate number nothing more could be explored than that so in order to accept that shiva was right but for shiva to let her integrity and respect remain intact she sits one level below shiva she is supposed to sit at the same plane because to indicate not she did not tell shiva that you are right normally it happens in our lives so she sat one level below shiva to indicate that you are right so vigyan bhairav tantra is that and when you are going through the life sufi masters whenever you ask them for initiation they said first get married sufi brij mohan lal was married and after married his first wife passed away so he was almost like a renunciate a recluse completely detached from life but that was not it so lala ji got him married and when he got married he was no interest that is the time your journey begins you are not interested in married you are not in interested in sex anymore but you are going into for going beyond the levels 
it is it can be argued that Talaji never spoke of sex because it was not necessary for him to explain to Brij Mohanlal. But it is necessary for me to explain to each one of you. So Vatsayan now explains that completely in detail the female sexuality, the male sexuality, how many of us know as a spouse, a woman, as a woman, know about her husband, what does he want, how does he like to have the act performed, what are the sensitive places in his body, man does not know. So we are grouping in dark, searching for a black cat in a dark room. It should not be. So when you enter into the egg, totally with an understanding as an exploration something sex is when sex is not merely biological for progeny progeny animals make love they create the young ones but what is the difference between human beings and the animal performing the act of sex for man, it is the process of evolution through sex. This is one of the way, and in that you can incorporate the pranayam, the yoga. Because when you are going into different difficult postures, positions, you need to have your body completely supple. You have to have complete control on your breathing. Complete control on your breathing so that you know that any act that you begin where more energy is needed it begins with a haphazard breathing then it becomes rhythmic then it slows down and it appears feels as if there is no breath going on so that state is to come in when you have attained total fulfillment through the act of sex then the next stage comes in how to center, how to attain centering or how to attain centering or the different techniques in during and through and after the act of sex. So when this happens, both men and women are growing going into this journey in togetherness and that's where Vigyan Bhairav Tantra comes in explains that when you have known understood you are living that the life of the you have attained fulfillment Kama Sutra finishes there then you have to start living with that understanding living with that understanding first respect for one another their emotions their logic emotions and logic and then you continue centering during the act now what happens when you have gained the mastery over it that's where your process of being a master chef begins so what master chef does he is creating the dishes for the others. He has attained the fulfillment. So, Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, you have attained fulfillment in your life through sex. Now you are entering into it in order for the further research, experimentation and what benefits can be explored and shared for the coming generation or for entire humanity. So Vigyan Bhairav Tantra starts that and when you have known, you have understood, you have lived, you have practiced, then you attain transcendence beyond sex and that is light beyond sex. I can go on on again as long as possible but we have to give according to the concentration span of an individual. I spoke yesterday 
and again I spoke a little more on the same topic so as time goes on and your interest begins to encourage I will speak more on this so only this much for this morning thank you for viewing and listening <music>